so we are dying to tell you where we stayed last night. Don't go away. Hello, America. I'm Lynn. And I'm Danny. And welcome to RV America. Welcome back. So what we want to do today is tell you where we stayed at last night. We right. found an amazing little hidden gem. It's called Davy Crockett Campground. It's just outside of Crossville, Tennessee, and we believe it is truly a hidden gem. Yes, just, just a wonderful campground, a lot, a lot to do here. There'd be a lot more to do if it wasn't for this darn COVID, but so many great things, and we want to tell you about that today. We're starting our morning off with uh, me cooking Lynn some bacon and eggs and toast. So we've got a nice little outdoor kitchen we use. Uh, we've got a toaster oven or we've got the toast finishing up. And uh, we're just using a little griddle that your mom used to use to make your pancakes uh, to make our bacon and eggs on so it saves propane that way. And we'll show you a picture of it when it's done. I want to give a big shout out to my mother-in-law who, who uh, gave us some eggs. Uh, she's got several chickens and gave us some eggs and we're going to enjoy those this morning. You really want to butter her up, don't you? Yep. Keep her on my good side. It really helps being married to a Waffle House shelf. I get breakfast. A lot. So we spent the night last night in this adorable little campground that was so nice that we just had to tell you about it. We are at David Crockett Campground in Crossville, Tennessee, just outside of Crossville, and it is just absolutely adorable. There's a little pond down here, and this is our campsite, and right beside our campsite, you know, they have wooden decks and everything. I think it kind of rained a little last night. A lot of shade just really really nice there's a pond down there and you are totally able to fish down there but it is a catch and release place on this end of our campsite where you can actually set your chairs up and face the water I think those down there are tent sites because we're in the middle of the week there's no one there and we were able to pull directly in so our front door is facing the water which is super nice. Bella has loved it. So the only negative that I see about the campground is that there's no grass. It's 100% gravel and as you know we have a puppy so we like a little bit of grass. There's also I mean like it is just set complete shade among all these trees and everything. I think a lot of the sites have the little picnic area with the table and everything. There are also cabins here. I'm assuming you can rent them, but we have no need, so we haven't checked on that. So this is the front office, but I'm guessing because of COVID, they're, uh, they're not open. There's no one there. The store's closed. Apparently the pool's closed. They do have trails that you can walk. If you should choose to do so. So this is a really cool restaurant slash event center. They have outside eating. But with COVID and so many things being affected, they are not open at this time. Here are some cabins you could rent, and there are three of them right here together. And it, as you notice, there's no grass here either. I guess it's lower maintenance that way. So this is a tent section, and even that has just tons of shade, nice picnic table cloth, picnic tables. There's a deck right there, and there are decks over on the other side, too. Not sure if you can see them or not. So 
so I found grass. Right here on the sides of this little cut through from one area to the other. Back behind the restaurant slash event center. So this is the entrance apparently of the Wilderness Lodge and Trails Inn restaurant. So I believe this is the bathhouse. Right there's the men's. I guess there's a place for you to sit while you're um, waiting your turn. They do have actually a couple of washer and dryers. Very nice. So here's the women's. I'm going to go in that one. So you can tell that it's an older building, but it's clean. They have a nice hot tub here, which is empty. Once again, thank you, COVID. But they also have additional showers here that you can use. And this is inside a room. So this is Davy's Smoke Shack. Uh, when it's open, we've heard that they have really good barbecue. And I think it would be a really nice amenity to have two separate restaurants in one campground. They said they have hay rides and everything over the weekends. But of course this year, nothing is normal. Wish we could try their barbecue for lunch. And as you can see from this sign that it has all the traditional amenities. Uh, it has a pool here, a basketball court, a volleyball court, shuffleboard, horseshoes, and we're going to show you in a minute a flat rock terrace that's pretty neat. So this is Lake Cherokee. It's kind of a small lake, but it's very cute in the middle of the RV park. Some would call it a pond, but it is called Lake Cherokee. Yeah, officially a Lake Cherokee. I, I'm with Danny. I think it's more like a little pond. And we are camped right about there. There's our rig. So you are totally allowed to fish here as long as you put it back when you're done. As to whether or not there are any fish in the lake, I do not know. I saw at the front entrance where no one was at they had a sign for bait so you can catch or you can buy bait here if you come without it i love to fish it's one of my favorite things to do so i would not be opposed to throwing it back because even though i love to fish danny doesn't love to clean them right i don't mind right dear i don't mind yes you do <laughs> So this is the flat rock, which is very unusual for this area. It's just solid rock right out from the pool. I'm not for sure what they use it for, but it's really kind of cool. We've seen this a lot around Chattanooga and places like that where they have a lot more rock, but it's kind of neat. So there's either two or three, I think maybe three, of these nice little wooden bridges in the campground. They connect one side to the other, and as you can see, they're going over the, uh, did they call it a creek? Yeah. What, the creek. Just a nice little place to walk. And you can't tell it right now, and we couldn't get any night video last night because the camera didn't cooperate, but... There are lights up above it, and at nighttime the lights are lit up, the lights are on, rather, and it totally lights up the path so you can do evening walks if you like. So this is one of the paths that leads you down here to another one of the walkways over the little streams of waterway. Nice and shade. Once again, you have the lights, which made it really nice last night. It just wouldn't show up on the video very well. Water running under the bridge. Haha, <laughs> I think there's a saying about water running under the bridge. Can't remember what it is. And then a nice little thing with the lights up above it. There's a little creek that runs through the park. That's kind of neat. It's kind of low right now, but it's flowing. I do think we're supposed to get rain here later today, but we're getting ready to pack up and move out. 
So if you're ever in this part of Tennessee, near the Crossville area, we strongly recommend the Davy Crockett Campground. It's a nice little campground. It's just uh, been a, a nice day and just a mm -hmm. lot of things to do. A good place to get your walk in. And uh, Bella enjoyed it. So we, we if just- If we're ever back here on the weekend and things are a little more normal, we will definitely stop and catch all the activities that go on on the weekend here. Yes. So we uh, encourage you to hit the subscribe button. And you, the notification bell. And give us a thumbs up. We want you to uh, have that notification bell. That way you know when we put out more content like this. So we do give Davy Crockett uh, Campground two thumbs up and one paw. Yep. It's a little dirty, but one paw. <laughs> one paw. So God bless and many safe travels. And until next time, go RV America. It's called Davy Crockett State Park. What's it called? It's called Davy Crocky Park. <laughs> it's called David. I'm laughing at this. <laughs> Stop laughing. Okay. It's called Davy Crockett Park. Davy Crockett Campground. Okay. It's Davy Crockett. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. It's Davy Crockett Campground 